Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. In this episode we're going to do something that's not very useful for Forever Stranded but interesting anyway and that's railguns. So let's get on with it because it's a reasonably large build but not that huge. So holo, holo, we need the hollow projector set to railgun and that should be down the bottom here. There we go that and then you just place it down somewhere let's say I want it round about the middle of this like that. let's see how big it is so it's a 5x5 five five structure so let's just build it I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build two because we need you need them in pairs so we're gonna start with what do we need I don't need this I need some advanced structure machines I need some titanium blocks I need some, I need the hollow projector of course. What else do I need? I need, I need an output hatch and an input hatch and we need some power plugs and some rail guns. Let's put the rail guns here and the power plugs there. I haven't got enough power plugs but never mind. I'll have to make another one. So rail gun, that's this one isn't it? Put it down like that. And then we can just build around this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the middle here there's titanium blocks. And you need 18 titanium blocks. And you'll see I've got 36, which is twice the number, which is fine. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to put an input hatch on here like this. And on the other side we're going to put an output hatch. Like that. And then around these, you've got a choice. So, we're, so what I'm going to do is put uh, advanced machine structures down there. Except for the middle one, we're going to do. We're going to put power into that. Now, what I don't know yet, and we're going to have to find that out, is exactly how much uh, power we do need. So what I'm going to do with this is that because the whole row of this could be power. So let's have a look. We'll just start with one, I think, to start with. And we want a dimensional transceiver and I'll take some energy conduit here like this. Should link in fine. Oops, I just did that wrong, didn't I? And I did that wrong as well. In fact, I don't want this one. So let's just put that back into my bag. So I don't want that one, but I do want the tool. Right, so now I'll try again. Dimensional transceiver. I will just set that one to receive power on from the quantum star generator. And then this thing should have power. So next we do the second layer. It's the wrong way around. Right, here we go. And all I'm going to do is exactly the same thing. In the middle we've got titanium blocks, which I can't see where they've gone to. There. We just need a nine of these. That one's in the wrong place. I'll just put it back in a minute. Right, good. I don't need my pickaxe. And then outside this, we're just going to put advanced machine structures. And then now we're going to do the next levels. And the next levels are all the same. It's just copper blocks looking like this. So we need 27 copper blocks. I think I've got a few more than I need. But it's, I think, is it 27? Let's have a quick look because I've forgotten. Copper blocks, we need 29. Okay. And then basically they just go up like this. And we can actually carry on doing this just like this. Actually, I wonder if I can use my um, magic wand. I have no idea. But if we can, it would be great, because it saves a bit of time. And I can't see it, of course. Where's it gone to? Let's just sort this stuff. And I still can't see it. And now I'm being blind. Where's it gone to? It should be around about there. Oh, 
Oh, well, never mind. I'll carry on doing it manually then. Ha! I'll have to put it somewhere else for a change. But what we can now carry on doing this, we've got about seven more to do, I think. No, that's too many. And if we actually take the hollow projector, we should be able to see it going. If we actually lift this, go right all the way up to the top layer, we get a copper coil in the middle there like that. And that's it. And that's it formed. So all we need to do now is to right click the railgun part and it can, should work. There we go. That's quite an impressive structure, isn't it? So now what this needs, let's look at the interface on this. It's got power, that's fine. And it's got a minimum transfer size and it needs turning on and you've got redstone control so what i'm going to do is build another one of those quickly we'll do that over here and then we'll move it we'll go into the moon and we'll do it somewhere a bit further away that's a little bit more practical so we'll do the same thing again what i'm going to do here i'll sort my inventory again i'm going to move these i need 29 of these and i've got eight too many Like that, and I'll put the, the 29 in the inner bag. I've got space in here. I've got another dimensional transceiver in here. That's probably a bad choice. Let's use the gold one. So we know we've got the right amount of bits and pieces. So I'll build that and I'll come back in a second. So now it's built. So now we have to do is have a look at this again. Oops, go the right way. And we need to put into here a linker that links to the other railgun. So let's just get some um, linkers out of my bag. They're in fact in this bag here I think. I've put them all in at the moment. So I'll just get a couple of linkers out and I'm going to re I'm going to reinitialize these and I did find my builder's wand. Don't ask me what I did with it last time. I think it was just there not being able you just can't see things sometimes. So right I've just cleared this linker and I'm going to just clear this linker as well. Just right click it on there. In fact, I'm going to remove the threadstone out of the way. So these have both got unset coordinates. So one of these, we're going to simply shift right click this block and it says coordinates programmed into linker. So now we're going to go over to the other, to the next uh, railgun. I know this is a bit of a, a silly test because they're right beside each other. And we're going to shift right click the first linker here and that's also programmed in. Now I've just got to remember which one goes to where. So that's that one. Uh, this is the other one. We'll turn it on as well, like that. And come back over to this one and just put the other link into here. Like that. So they're now both linked in. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to invert the redstone control. And what I'm gonna, what I want to do basically is to show you. Let's just get some stuff. Let's say, let's get some mm, dirt or something like that. That's coarse dirt. Uh, let's get some ordinary dirt as well. We've got five block, five stacks. So I can put these into here, for example. And you see it's disappearing. In fact, you heard a little bup. So what I'm going to do is to just turn this off like that first of all then I can put the rest of this dirt into this input hatch like that and then when I turn it on you'll see it get thrown out now what I'd like to do is to do a little bit of a delay on this so let's put some redstone down that's what the redstone is really for and the button as it happens so I'm going to put one piece of redstone down here then I'm going to put some repeaters and I've got to get in the right direction I think they go in this way direction don't they Like that, and I'm just going to take some redstone around here so that I can reach and see at the same time. That's the idea, anyway. Like that, and I need a block. Any block will do. I haven't got any block with me. Let's just take a block of cobblestone or something like that. Um, hmm. I'm 
and put the block down there like that and on the other side is we're going to put a redstone torch so that these then have a signal and the idea is that when I press the button let's say put the button on here it turns it off for a very brief period of time but it takes a few a little bit of time before it actually hits that so let's we'll make this wider so we get a little bit of a delay like that so now we're going to go back here and we're going to put redstone control inverted and turn it on again now this time actually in fact that's changed it again hasn't it I bet it's some type of thing. Oh no, it's not. We've still got one block in there. <laughs> Actually, the reason we've got one block in there is because the other one's full. Oh man. Let's go and sort that one out. So on this side here, we should have blocks of dirt and uh, coarse dirt. Like that. So now, we can actually do that on this side as well. Uh, let's just turn it off. And then come in here and then put the dirt into here like that and then turn it on in fact this you can just see those disappearing in the sky well I can and they'll end up in here in the output side now the whole purpose of this is so you can see this so let's try that again right click that now watch this it goes and you see the thing shoot up and that dirt will have appeared in this in this railgun over here like that Phew. so next thing we're going to go to the moon and do the same thing and actually I'm quite curious to see how my terraforming is getting on with the with the moon anyway so let's just break this up I can leave the linker in here as it happens because it's actually going to be the right one and I'll remove it but I will need a second linker to link this one to. So let's just break this up. But I'll, I'll do that. I'll come back when it's done. Right, we're on our way to the moon. The other one's been dismantled. And I've got all the, the bits and pieces with me. So, quickly go to the moon. And build another one of these. put my helmet back on so I've got oxygen and you can also tell because I've got the display on the top left hand side so we're at the top and as you may remember I've been terraforming the moon and it's taking it takes a very long time and it takes a lot of gas and we're up to 0.19 atmospheres and once we get to 0.25 then it will actually start to be interesting because the, the biomes will start to change anyway that's that's running and it's all um, chunk loaded so hopefully it's carrying on loading as we come down you should see it and I haven't run out of gas yet no I haven't the gas is takes quite a lot of gas so let's just set up our, our device over here somewhere that's my hollow projector should remain as things so that well, shall we put it let's put it facing this direction here like that and there we go so I'll be back in it when I've done the record uh, when I've built this no point in doing it all uh, you want to the uh, this does work so if we can get into a better position we keep going up until we've finished all the blocks oh, it's laugh a bit easier doesn't it and the last block goes in the middle here like that if I can reach there we go and that should then be formed and we should right click this like that so now we can then start to put things in we've got the linker that's appropriate for this one which is this one here so that should work so we should be able to put an item in here and send it away so let's turn it on oh, let's take some cobblestone and see if that works here and indeed it has worked it sent it off so now what we have to do of course is to finish this off we need to come back here get out here another linker that's to the um, space station but I don't know which port it is so I'll use that one shift right click the ground that resets it to and the coordinates and set and shift right click this one so that's now programmed in so we can now go back to earth 
like this. And if you want to see this as well, while I'm here, let's have a quick another look into this because it's progressing. Gravity is too low. I should really build a gravity thing here, shouldn't I? You'll see that this has this sort of pretty chart as it as it's working along, and the oxygen's fine and the nitrogen is also fine, but it's working. And I think I've still got plenty of gas because I was gas mining like crazy. Oops, I can't do that. Can I Let's get into the rocket? Oops, and that's a mistake. Let me just select the destination to being Earth. I think it's too late now. Because the rocket will simply go up and come down again. Which is a bit of a shame. So I didn't need these um, extra plugs. So I can send those back to Earth as well, but I won't do that just yet. I'll wait till we come down again. As you see. <laughs> That was great. Um, let's just put these away. I don't need that. And I don't really need the demonstration of the time now, do we? Because we've finished that one. I think we can send those back as well. And I've got some rocket monitoring stations here. And I was making a... What was I making? Some dimensional transceivers. Right, OK, Earth. Here we go this time. I should really set up a, another space elevator here, shouldn't I? Well, there is a gravity controller. I could also bring one of those as well and increase the gravity on the moon. Which is the next step. So the very last thing we're going to do is set, check that that cobblestone's come to Earth and send, send it back again. Just to, I think that's a good enough proof, isn't it? Where is it? It's over here, isn't it? Let's just go that way. I always, I always like overtaking the rocket and watching it land. It's great fun. Anyway, so we should have in the output here one cobblestone, and indeed we have. So it worked just fine. So we can take this cobblestone and we can send it back again. Ah, first of all, we have to put the linker in, of course. So take this linker out of here and put this linker in here, like that. So that says it dimension two. Put the cobblestone in here. Off it goes. Little dot there. There's no clouds, no. As you can see, the actual smoke from the rocket staying there, not getting blown away. So that's it. Where are we? Where's that thing? So, I hope you enjoyed this episode about railguns and the like. There aren't actually that many things, vi videos about this. The only one I found was in Russian. And um, it took a little bit of research to do it because the actual developer's video was slightly different. Anyway, I won't waffle anymore. So I'll see you next time when we're going to go and do some beacons. So until then, bye for now.